we got uh, some animals and we exposed them to green light and then we tested them and we saw that they developed a better capacity to handle uncomfortable stimulus. The more we optimize the system, the more potent, if you will, the effect of the green light uh, became. And I thought, since this is very non-invasive, we did not see any side effects on the animals. Um, what's holding us from trying it on humans? I have fibromyalgia very severely, and I've had that for 20 years. Terrible, terrible, nine or 10 pain. And this brought it down quite a bit. The study is 10 weeks long. We provide them with a green light, and at the end of the study, I asked them to return the light to us, uh, along with some surveys to document their pain, how their pain is improving over the 10 weeks uh, period. So we brought the lights home, and my husband built this frame for it, and for 10 weeks, I did this about three feet away from you in a darkened room and do it for an hour or two every night. <laughs> After two days, I could tell that my pain was less and I just couldn't believe it. You know, you don't expect things to work, but it worked. She became happier, more interactive. She was doing uh, more stuff with her family and friends. And when she returned the light, she was sad because she felt she's going to lose all that effect. So we just contacted her and we returned the light to her and told her, just use it. If it's that helpful, go ahead and use it. So she was very happy. I still have pain, but it's so different than, you know, lying in bed and crying with the pain. It just made a a huge difference in how I felt about myself and how I felt about life. And I owe that to Dr. Ibrahim and his lights. I bring to Raj uh, some of the problems we face in the pain clinic with uh, uh, some of the really hard to treat pain conditions. And we try to come up with uh, models to see if there are better ways to manage such pain, or to at least understand the nature of that pain. And once we have better understanding, we might be able to find uh, a better management to, to address that pain. In this case, it's green light. It's actually very safe. Um, so we see a path much faster. You can imagine eyeglasses, for example, being designed that have the same effect that people can wear. So that's very important. But at the same time, while that progresses to uh, humans, it's very important for us to understand how it's working. And that's where we still need to do studies in rodents. We need to make sure that the mechanisms we envision are working to bring about pain relief are actually what's happening. So one of the goals we had in mind when we started on this project is to find also something in addition to being safe and efficacious, to be affordable. And thankfully, so far anyway, light is still cheap. Not if you want designer eyeglasses. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>